Um, so I have values drive commitment, and I also happen to have the same quote that Jennifer had. So values influence every aspect of our lives, our moral judgments, our responses to others, our commitments to personal and organizational goals, and values set the parameters for the hundreds of decisions we make every day. The main idea of this truth is to know your personal values and commit to them in order to commit emotionally to your committee. Focus on recommitting to your personal values. However, a committee is often at odds with the very thing that will lead to this success, which is allowing students to become leaders. This focuses on how facilitators fear fears are that too much freedom will lead to abandonment. This is caused by emotional detachment of refusing to let individuals have parallels with core values and committee values, which you can see here. They go, they go with each other. It works. Um, to help individuals connect their values to commitment, they need to define their values. The first two commitments are to clarify values and align these values with one's actions. By doing this, you are working to create a better workspace for you and for your committee. By becoming a leader and focusing on those values, most important to you, you will become a more productive leader with a greater emotional commitment to your committee. So, to bring that all together, it's not what leaders do that's important. It's why they do it. Leadership is a motivation. The worst thing in your own development as a leader is not to do it wrong. It's to do it for the wrong reasons. So figure out your right reasons and then figure out how to apply them to your community.